Good afternoon. Hi, teacher. Hi, Ruth. How are you? Fine. You're fine. Yes. Excellent. You? I'm, I'm happy today. I'm really happy today. Uh -huh. Yes. How was your weekend? Uh, yeah. yeah. Weekend? So, you all good? Good. Good. Excellent. Muy bien, Ruth. Bien. Esperemos a sus compañeros. Ok. Ok. Okay, let me say hi to Jorge. Hello, Jorge. Hello, teacher. How are well, you? I'm good. Pretty good today. You? Fine. You're fine. Excellent. Janina, hello. Welcome. Go get that. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. <clears throat> How are you? How was your weekend? Hi, and you? I'm good. I'm pretty good today. Let me see. Hi, uh, Lupita. Welcome, Gabriela. Hello, teacher. Nice to have you. There we go. Okay, class, welcome back again. This is uh, a new week. We are going to have a new section today. Last week, we were finishing with section number, section number three in the midterm exam. And just let me ask you, do you have questions about section number three? Probably, any topic from the midterm exam or any activity from section number three? Or did you finish all of the exercises from section number three? Did you? I finished. You finished, very good. Ruth, Janira, Lupita, did you finish with the activities? Finished, teacher. You finished, excellent. Yes, Glenda, Gary, you finished? Yes, I did. Okay, you did. Very good yes, job. Teacher. Very good job. So, we can move on. We are going to have section number four in this week. But first, let's start with an activity so we can start our warming up. Podemos empezar a calentar, prepararnos con nuestro inglés, right? Take a look at this. This is a, an activity, a really nice activity. So you can practice concentration, you know? Look at this picture that I have here. What can you see in this picture? What type of vocabulary is that? Colors. Colors, okay. You can see different colors. What colors can you see? Uh, yellow. Mm -hmm. Blue. You can see blue. Orange. Orange. But the, the color is different. Okay, but you see. The words, yes. Okay. <laughs> but I'm asking you, what colors do you see? Not the word. 
What colors do you see? You can see green, yellow, red, purple, pink, red, pink, green. black. We have blue as well, many colors in here. So what is this activity about? As you can see, you have the word or the name of the color, but the word has a different color. So what is this activity about? I really need you to, okay, just give me a second. I need you to say the color and not the word. Say the color you see, but not the word, okay? Díganme el color que tiene esa palabra, no la palabra, okay? Say the color and not read the word. Is that clear? Um. For example, the first one, what color is this one? In number one? Green. Green, so you are not going to say yellow. You are going to say green. Green. What color is this one? Yellow. Yellow, you are not going to say blue. blue. You're going to say yellow. And this one, this red. is red. Red. You are not going to say orange. 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 You're going to say red. Okay. Let me try to do this the first time, okay? Because I was practicing and in my case, you know, it is very hard to concentrate and to say the color and not the word. Okay, here I go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just give me a second. The first one is green, yellow, red, purple, red, green, black, blue, Orange, red, blue, green, light blue. Well, this is correct. Look at this one. Let's say this one light blue. Digámoslo celeste, okay? Light blue. Purple, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, and red. Okay? There we go. You see, I cannot do it that fast. Así que yo no les pido que lo hagan rápido. No, because in my case, it's the same. It's a little bit difficult. I need to practice more with this type of exercises. Right? So let me see. Vamos a ponerles un orden. From number one to how many students do you have today? Nine. Ahorita tengo nine students. Nine students, right? So let me start with a volunteer. So we are going to do the same. This volunteer is going to choose one of you so you can continue and so on. Okay, let me see. Who is the first one? Who wants to try with the first one? You do not need it to do fast. No es rápido hacerlo, es solo decirlo. Tratemos de retarnos, okay? Let me give you one minute so you can take a look at the picture and practice. Después de esto elegimos un voluntario. Practiquen un minuto, okay? Remember, say the color and not the word. Great. Okay, so let's start. Let me have the first one. Let me see. Lupita, can you try? Antes que se nos vaya, Lupita. Do you want to try? No, los tengo que repetir todos. Todos. Decir todos. el color, pero no la letra, la, la palabra. Vamos, Lupita. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo así? Tiene que decir el color que tiene la palabra, no leer la palabra. Mm. Green, eh, yellow, eh, red, purple, eh, red, eh, green, black, eh, blue, eh, orange, eh, red, eh, blue, eh, green. Eh, ese no me lo puedo. You can eh, say light blue, light blue. Light blue. 
Purple, orange, blue, yellow, uh, orange, white, uh, red. Okay, there we go. Lupita, pick one of your classmates. Jorge. Jorge. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Jorge. It's your time to try. Go, please. Okay. Green, yellow, red, purple, red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, green, light blue, purple, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, red. And red. Very good job. Excellent. Pick one of your classmates. Who is going to participate in this moment? Yanira Mejia. Ok, Yanira. Go ahead. Teacher, una preguntita. Este yes. orange, el que está entre el blue black y el yellow orange, ¿ese orange es blue o es purple? El the, color. The one that is between... In three... Line number three. Mm -hmm. Línea tres. Yes. So we have black, blue, orange. Esos ah, colores no, ajá, no, el color. El color es blue o es purple. It's blue. Blue. Uh, yes. Thank you. Bye. Uh, green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, eh, blue, orange, red, blue, green, light blue, pink, Orange, eh, blue, yellow, orange, black, red. There we go. Excellent. Janina, pick one of your classmates. Uh, oops. Ay. <laughs> Ay, <sorry. laughs> Eh, este es ah, eh, green eh, yeah. ah, para allá va <ríe> green, eh, yellow orange ah no red red eh, pink eh, yes, eh, red uh -huh. green Black, blue, orange, red, blue, blue, green, la, la, pink, pink, orange, a blue. Black, eh, ah, no, perdón, black, mm -hmm. <laughs> yellow, uh -huh. eh, orange, eh, black, red. Okay, there we go. Ay, okay, Rosa, okay. <laughs> you <laughs> did it. <laughs> Who's next? Eh, eh, Rita. Rita, go ahead. Ahí? Okay, I do. I'm very confused. I um, okay, I start. Uh, green, yellow, red, purple, red, green, black, blue, uh, orange, red, blue. Uh, green, like blue, and purple, orange, blue, <laughs> Ay. Great, uh, great. Yeah. ¿Y aquí qué es? <laughs> It's yellow. Yellow, um, orange, black, 
red. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Great job, Rita. Who's next? Uh, Samuel. Okay, Samuel. I know you can do it, Samuel. Go, please. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, remember, Samuel, say the color, not the word. Okay, go, please. Wow. Uh, green, yellow, red, uh, pink, red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, green, cyan, pink, o no sé, no sé cómo es esa. Yes, or, you, los... or you can say light blue, light blue. Ah, light blue. Mm -hmm. uh, pink, pink, red, uh, orange, perdón, orange. blue, yellow, orange, Black, red. Ok, Samuel, you see, Samuel no tuvo tanto problema. Excelente. Ya vamos a ver. Who's next, Samuel? Uh, Carlos. Carlos, go please. Say the color, not the word. Uh, yellow, blue, orange, orange. Not really. Wait, wait, wait. Say the color, not the word. What color is that word? The first uh, one. Uh, green. Okay, there we go. Green. So continue. Go ahead. Green. Green. Um... Black. No. Okay, what color is this? It's yellow. So you need to say green, green. yellow, yellow orange. red. No. Remember. Right. Ah, okay, okay. I understand. Sorry. There we go. No, don't yeah. worry. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, green, uh, yellow, red, purple. Um, from pink, red, green, black, blue, um, orange, red, blue, green. Uh, I don't remember. You can say light blue because we don't know that name. Okay. No idea. <laughs> okay. La bancada es que continúe. Pink, eh, orange, uh -huh. eh, blue, yellow, uh, orange, black, and red. And, and, and red. Okay, okay. There we go. Great job. Carlos, who's going to continue? Rita. Rita, she already participated. Pick another one, please. Sorry, uh, Alberto. Alberto, okay. Go, Alberto. I know you can okay. do it. Okay. Green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, and blue, orange, red, blue, green, light blue, pink, orange, blue, yellow, Orange, black, red. Okay, excellent, excellent job. Alberto, who's next? Ivania. Ivania, I know you can do it. Thank you. <coughs> green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, green, cyan, uh, pink, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, red. There we go. Ivania, who is missing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Denilson? Yes, he is. There we go. Go, Denilson. Green, yellow, <laughs> red. <laughs> Purple, 
red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, green, light blue, purple, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, and red. Red. There we go. Who is missing? Excellent, excellent Gustavo. job. Gustavo. Gustavo. Okay. It's your time to try, Gustavo. Hello. Go, go please. Okay, green, yellow, red, purple, red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, green, uh, light blue or cyan, cyan, uh, uh -huh, and purple, uh, orange, blue, yellow, uh, orange, uh, black, and red. red. There we go. There we go. Let me see who is still missing. Excellent job, Gustavo. I still have Gabriela, Lorena, and Josue, right? And Glenda, right? So go ahead. Who's missing? Josue. Okay, Josue. There we go, Josue. Hello, teacher. Hello, Josue. Okay. Green, uh, yellow, red, pink, uh, red, green, black, uh, blue, orange, red, blue, uh, green, light blue, pink, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, red. Red, there we go. Jose, we are still missing three classmates. Um, Gabriela. Gabriela, go please. Okay. Uh, green, yellow, red, purple, uh, red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, green, light blue, purple, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, and red. And red, there we go, Gabby. I'm still missing two classmates. Um, Glenda. Okay, Glenda. Okay, green, yellow, orange, purple, orange, uh, green, black, uh, blue, um, orange. I perdón. <laughs> it's green, yellow, red, purple, red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, green, light blue, purple, orange, blue, yellow, orange. Black and red. And red, okay. The last one. Lorena. Lore, yes. Hello. Hi, Lori. Hi, okay. Uh, green, yellow, red. Purple, que esa no sé cómo se pronuncia muy bien. Red, green, black, blue, yellow, red, blue, green, light blue, purple, esa me corrige. Orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, red. Yeah, purple, purple. That's okay. There we purple. go. Let me see. So nobody's missing, right? So what did you feel, class? Be honest. How did you feel with this exercise? ¿Cómo se sintieron? It's confused. Why? 
Because the word, the uh -huh. we think about is. You were thinking about uh -huh. reading? About the color. You were thinking about just reading and not. The word is equal exactly. to color. So, you but know, tell me. If we concentrate. If you concentrate, but you need to do a, like a double I like. extra effort, right? An extra effort, right? So, yes. you know, this is um, a great example. You know, whenever you need to concentrate, you know, and this is a left and right brain conflict. Es un conflicto que se genera en nuestro cerebro, you know, entre la parte izquierda y Derecha. Why? Because the right brain tries to say the color, but the left brain tries to read the color. So, es bien similar a cuando tratamos de hablar inglés muchas veces. Teacher, pero yo pienso en español. ¿Por qué se me mezcla el español? Right? So, you see, es el esfuerzo extra que tenemos que hacer para hablar solo inglés. Only English, just English. Pensar solo en inglés y no traducir al español porque ahí entra en conflicto nuestro cerebro y ese de Nilsson. Could you show again the picture? Go, oh, okay. Let me see. Aquí estamos. This is the one. Yes. What happened to the picture? I need it for my children. Okay, don't worry. Okay, aquí teníamos un nuevo color. ¿Por qué les dije? Digan light blue, porque si no iba a ser fácil de leerlo. Pero es cyan. Cyan. This is another color. Cyan. ¿Qué color teacher, sería en español? Yes, tell me. Y la pronunciación de diferencia entre la palabra ciencia y, y, y el color cyan en la pronunciación. Eh, termina con E, ciencia, science. Y ese es science. Ah, con A, science. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Science, science. El color cyan, dice. Exacto. So, this is a, 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 another color, you know. Una de las tantas variaciones del azul. ¿No? Interesante, otro nuevo color. Tenemos muchos colores en inglés también. Hay alrededor de más de 50, creería. Combinaciones posibles. But this is like an example. Y solo tenemos 11 colores básicos. 11 colores básicos, okay? But this is another topic. Great, 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 great pronunciation and great exercise. So we can start thinking about the topic that we are going to have today. As you may see, I mentioned before that we are going to have section number four. And what is the topic that we are going to have in section number four? What does she look like? What does she look like? What do you look like? Okay. Como te ves? Appearance. We are going to learn and practice vocabulary about appearance, physical appearance, okay? Nos vamos a concentrar en la apariencia física en este momento. This is class number nine, the pre-intermediate two, group and this is the topic for today so if you go to the platform there we have a video and in this video we have some vocabulary after that video we have a conversation the first activity that we are going to have is about this listen to the new vocabulary and then we are going to practice here we go class Pay please. Here we go. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty. 
height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Once again, here we go. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Okay, listen. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair. Okay, first category, hair. Hair, let's repeat, hair. ¿Cómo decimos cabello en inglés? Hair. 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 Okay, hair. very good pronunciation. And in this picture you have six different examples. Hair, the first one. Long brown hair. Long brown Long hair. hair. Long brown hair. Long brown Long hair. hair. Mm -hmm. In this case, we are hair. indicating the color, but you can also say long hair. If you don't want to be specific with the color, you're just going to say long hair. Long hair or long brown hair. If you can mention or change another color, you could say long black hair. But this is up to you. Second example. Short blonde hair. What do we have in the second picture? Is that long hair or short hair? Uh -huh. Short. Short. Uh -huh. Acuérdense la pronunciación SH suena como sh, short hair. Short y, hair. Yes. Y, y blond, ¿qué quiere decir en sí? Porque uh -huh. el otro dice café, un uh -huh. cabello, café. Largo. In this case, blond es rubio. Uh -huh. Rubio, muy bien. Aquí todos les están poniendo el color, pero si solo quieren decir short hair, cabello corto, that's okay. But short Blonde hair. Blonde. Blonde. Rubio. Uh -huh. Y esto puede aplicar para chicos y para chicas también, no solo para ella. Podemos tener a un chico que tenga también short, blonde hair. Okay. Next example. What do we have there? Straight black hair. Okay. Straight, straight, black hair. ¿Qué será straight? Straight. straight. Miren. Es cabello liso. Es liso. 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 Sí es cierto que lo tiene largo también. Si quisiéramos decir que es un cabello largo y liso y color blanco, podemos hacer. Sería long, long straight, straight black, hair. black hair. Así se pondría el orden de los adjetivos, porque estamos describiendo. Long, straight, black hair. But in this case, we are just making reference to the hair, the straight hair. Liso, cabello liso, right? Let's continue. Look at this man. Tenemos tres chicos al final. Curly red hair, bald. Curly red hair. Curly red hair. Curly is the opposite of straight. ¿Qué sería curly entonces? Colocho, ondulado. 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 Fíjense que cabello. ondulado no es, ondulado es otra palabra, ya se la voy a mostrar. Este sería cabello sí, colocho, porque ondulado es como, es wavy, como una ola. Wave es ola en inglés, así, like this, wave. Entonces, cabello ondulado con ondas es wavy. Curly es uno que sí tiene bien definido esos rizos. Así que wavy hair. Curly hair. Dejémoslo ahí para que nos quede de referencia también. Bold. Bold. ¿Qué será esto? Bold. Calvo. Uh -huh. Calvo. Así se le llama. Calvo o 
también a las personas que ellos mismos se, se rapan el cabello. Bold. Uh -huh. Rapado o calvo. Muy bien. Bold. Rapado o calvo. A mustache and a beard. Mustache. Mustache. A mustache and a beard. 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 No lo confundamos con la pronunciación de pájaro en inglés. This is beard. Pájaro, bird. Bien similares, pero no es lo mismo. El mozo, bird. Mustache. ¿Qué sería mustache, class? Bigote. Bigote, Bigote y, barba. y barba. Bigote y barba. Bigote y barba. Y barba. Ok, repito otra vez. Long, blonde hair. Long, brown hair. Short, blonde hair. Short, brown hair. Straight. Straight, straight. Black hair. hair. Curly, curly, red hair. Red hair. Bald. 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 Suena como una A, you know. Bald. A mustache and a beard. Mustache and a beard. Como I. B, I, I. Una I suena. Es como una I latina. Beard. Beard. Like this, right? Beard. Uh -huh. Beard. Great. Pregunta sobre el cabello. Hair. ¿Qué otro tipo de cabello podríamos tener? Or I guess these are the most common. Afro. Most common. Afro sería afro, literal. Afro hair. Afro hair. Muy bien. Sigamos. Age. Young. Middle aged. Elderly. Ok. Age. 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 Nuestra age. edad. Age. Uh -huh. La edad. Young, middle age, elderly. In your opinion, to whom do we call young people? ¿A quiénes le llamaríamos young, jóvenes? Nosotros, we are still young. Los adolescentes. No, really, los adolescentes es otra categoría. ¿Cómo decimos adolescentes, class? How do we say adolescentes? In teenagers. 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 Ajá. Teenagers. Teenagers. Luego de teenagers viene young people. Si nos vamos desde primero, tenemos babies. Babies, que son los bebés. Luego, ¿qué le sigue? Kids. Luego pasan a ser... Teens or teenagers. And then we have young people. We can have adults or middle age. And then elderly. Right? Los adultos creo que es la categoría más amplia. Adults. Aquí no la tenemos, pero sí existe también. Young people, middle age. ¿A quién le llamaríamos middle age? ¿De qué edad a qué edad? What is your opinion? Gente mayor. Uh -huh. Pero de Madura. qué edad más o menos? ¿Qué edad más o menos? 40 y tantos. Ok, middle age. 40, 60. Como de los 40 o 50, 60. Ajá, middle age. Y los elderly. Elderly people. Elderly. Quizás después de los 70, ¿verdad? Elderly people. 70, 80, and so on. There we go. Looks. Looks. Handsome. Good looking. Pretty. Okay, we only have positive adjectives, right? To describe people. Look. Solo adjetivos positivos ocuparon. Handsome. Handsome. Good looking. Good looking girl. Or good looking boy. And pretty. Pretty. Handsome. Good looking. And pretty. There we go. 
height, height. short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, height, height, la altura, height, short, fairly short, no es tan pequeño, fairly pero tampoco short. tan alto. I am fairly, fairly short. short, I am fairly tall, fairly es como no, ni tanto, fairly, un poco, medium height, pretty tall, and very tall. Entre pretty tall and very tall hay un poquito de diferencia nada más. Pero very tall ya sería cuando una persona que mide tal vez unos dos metros. Pretty tall, un poquito menos de eso. Short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall and very tall. In your opinion. ¿Qué altura o qué es el average? Lo más común en El Salvador, si hablamos de altura de personas, ¿cuál sería de todas estas? Do we have short people in El Salvador? Fairly short people, medium high people, pretty tall or very tall people? Medium high. Right? Yeah, I guess this is the average. Medium high people. Remember that all of these adjectives, we can use them with girls or with boys, women and men. Todos estos aplican para ambos. The only exception is whenever we are using this one, handsome and pretty. And this one. Son como las excepciones, porque mustache and beard solo es para hombres, ¿ok? Right? No creo que veamos una mujer con mustache and beard. Or not. Y handsome is only for men and pretty it's only for women. Ok. Preguntas sobre este vocabulario, please. Questions about pronunciation or extra vocabulary that you want to add? If not, vamos a la práctica, vamos a ver. I have the same exercise, same picture here. So you can have the same vocabulary, but with real people. Look, mismo vocabulario con gente real. Look at the second picture. I was mentioning that we can have this one for boys as well. This is not a woman. Ahí en el ejercicio anterior teníamos a una chica. Aquí tenemos a un niño. Short, blonde, hair. Okay, interesting. Middle age. Aquí ya se ve un poquito mejor. ¿A qué se refiere cuando dicen middle age? Look. 40, 50 tal vez. Young people. It's a very young people. Great. I am going to send this picture. Don't worry. I'm going to share this information so you can practice. But now... Let me ask you, let's do this practice. How do you look? Let's talk about the hair. ¿Cómo describirían su cabello ustedes? I have long brown hair. I have short blonde hair. I have straight black hair. I have curly red hair. I have a mustache in a beard or I am bold. Este es el único que vamos a decir. I am, yo soy, I am. No, yo tengo, I am, okay? So let me listen to you. Gabriela, tell me about your hair. Teacher, I think not my hair. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
long light brown hair probably muy bien it's long light brown hair excellent lorena tell me about your hair i have um ay es que no es ni colocho no es ni es un desastre eh, pero... uh, disaster. no 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 <laughs> I have, um, vamos a ver, long, long black hair. Okay, it's, it's long, it's black. Black. Okay, yeah. long black, okay, there we go. Ruth, tell me about your hair. Or class, you can help me out. ¿Cómo sería el cabello de Ruth? Is that long um, or short? Uh, short. <laughs> okay, it's short. What color is it? Curly. Ah, it's short. It's curly. What color? She has curly uh -huh. black hair. She has. She has. But short, curly, curly black hair. Wow, imagínense, ocupamos cuatro adjetivos para describir. Primero, corto. Luego dijimos, ¿cómo es? Color. color. Luego va el color. Black. Luego hair. Hay un orden para posicionar los adjetivos, ¿sabía? En este caso, el corto, corto o largo. Luego, ¿cómo es? Si es curly o straight. Y al final va el color. There we go. Let me ask boys. Tell me about your hair, Alberto. In my case, I have short, curly black hair. Short, or curly. short, wave yes. black hair. Okay, short, wave, light hair. There we go. So let me give you some time. I need you to go with your classmate. Creo que, quiero que entre todos ahorita identifiquen cómo es el cabello de cada uno, ¿ok? Y luego vienen y ya con seguridad me lo dicen. Teacher, I have long black hair. In my case, it's long black hair, ¿ok? Let me send you this picture and please. Es lo único que van a hacer, identificar cómo es su cabello ahorita. Empecemos con el cabello. Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes. Yes. Para que luego todos ya puedan decir cómo es su cabello. Here we go. Sí, sure. Dígame. Y si no es ni corto ni largo. <laughs> Puede ser medium. <laughs> medium. Medium dejamos, ok. Yes. It's <laughs> not short and it's not long. Medium. Ok. Gracias. Okay. You're welcome.
black. Vaya y Carlos. Carlos es, he is bald. Bald sería. Uh -huh. Black hair. No, bald. I, I have hair. Bald. Sure. 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 But you. <coughs> okay. Sorry. Entonces sería short. Short. Black. Short black. Mm -hmm. Sería entonces. He, no sería his bald. No, eh, es short. He has, has short, he has short black, black hair. Ah, entonces sería cabello. He, uh -huh. he has, he has, uh -huh. he has short black hair. Uh -huh. Así. And he has mustache. Short black. Barba. No, la barba. <laughs> Vale, vale. ¿Ve? No, pero, no, pero estamos hablando del pelo. Oye, no, es también se puede. Se puede. Yes. Me dice pues, a mustache and dirt. Mustache. Ah, usted es mustache uh -huh. and black. The mustache. Pues, oh, yo no puedo poner mi cámara. Híjole. Ya le llevo a Así revisar que... más para sí. Pero ya saben cómo es mi pelo. Gracias. <risa> Long brown hair. Ah, no. <risa> uh, blondie. Uh, Blond hair. Yes, I'm natural blonde hair. <risa> <risa> Mire, y en la foto de allí parece como que risa, sale también. Ya la veo. Sale una. Um, hasta Rita sale en la foto. Aquí está. Ahí está Rita de moradita. Ah. Y ve. Ah, well. <ríe> y, eh, bueno, como tenemos más tiempo, ¿en qué edad? Estamos. Eh, ten ayer. Mm. Ahí está la teacher. Ya, ya, hay que, ya practicamos, teacher. Yo finish. Yo finish. Yo finish. Yo finish. Sí, teacher. Mira, I have a doubt. When I have uh, described the, uh, the person, ah, is the correct? Uh -huh. I have. I have. It, 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 for example, it's for me. Uh -huh. I have. I have. Uh -huh. ah, but correct. if you are describing he or she, you're going to use has. He has or she has. Ah, okay. That's it. Okay, oh. vamos a la sala principal entonces. Okay. There we go. Wait for your classmates. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. And let me ask you, Lorena, ¿cómo siguió? How do you feel right now? Hello. ¿Cómo siguió, Lorena? ¿Ya se siente mejor? Eh, un poco. Un poquito. Pero todavía ando algo plegadita. Me imagino. Sí, pero gracias por preguntar. Oh, sí, ahí estamos <risa> pendientes. No hay problema. Vamos a ver. Okay. Empecemos. Let me ask you, Yanira, can you describe Glenda? Describamos a Glenda. Remember that we are talking about the hair. Y ahí también incluimos para los chicos mustache and beard. Óyanlo <risa> también. Vamos a ver. Glenda eh, has long black hair. Long black hair. There we go. Glenda, uh, that's it. Right? Eso es todo, Yanni. Yes, ok. Eh, no, pero... Ok, continue. Es, eh, ay, es que no tengo los otros. <risa> Which one? La, la, las imágenes. Ah, uh, she has 
uh, very short. Um, is um, she has middle age? Ay, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más le digo? No, that's it. Right now, that's okay. Solo del cabello. Mm -hmm. Porque después vamos a aprender cómo decir la edad. Recuerden que no decimos she has, no she is. She is. Entonces, para no confundirnos ahorita, let's just practice with the verb to have. El verbo tener. ¿Ok? Tenemos cabello. Este sí usamos el verbo have. Ajá, Solo sí. el único que les dije que no se dice tener es cuando es calvo. He is. He is or she is bold. Okay. Eh, sí, Glenda, Glenda, eh, dije, she has, she has, muy eh, bien, long, long, eh, black hair. Muy bien, that's uh -huh. okay, that's all right. <coughs> Glenda, describe Gustavo, please. Yo como que el mío. Gustavo, <laughs> she. She or he? He. Ok, excelente. Pero me confundo si es has o has. Has, porque estamos has. hablando de la tercera persona. Sí, es has. que allí, esa, allí me pierdo yo con las terceras. He has. Sí, has. He has. He has. He has. Um, ay. Quiero ver cómo. No sé, teacher. ¿Qué será? Uh, Vaya. Si no, Glenda, descríbame a Jorge, que estuvo con usted en el grupo. Jorge o Josué. Ah, sí. Eh, Jorge has um, wavy, sería. Wavy, ok. Ondulado. Wavy, wavy, ajá, wavy brown. Wavy brown. ¿Qué? Wavy brown hair. Hair, muy bien. Wavy brown hair. Yo creo que con los chicos es más difícil describir su cabello. Porque los que se nos viene a la cabeza es short hair, cabello corto, that's it. Pero no, tienen también otro tipo de forma de escribir. Jorge, describe Josué, please. Tell me about Josué's hair. Ok, he has short, wavy, black hair. Short, wavy, black hair. Very good job. Ivania, describe Gustavo. Gustavo's hair. Oh, ok. Gustavo has mustache, beard, and the hair is short, short, curly, mm, brown or black. I don't know. <laughs> He say is how do you say pelirrojo? Red, red hair. Red hair. Ok. Muy bien. ¿Saben cómo se les dice a los pelirrojos en inglés? No solo red hair. Hay otra forma también de llamarles a los pelirrojos. ¿Alguna idea? Ginger. Ginger. Así se les dice. Ginger. But that is another topic. Ok, last one. Let me see. ¿Quién me describe? Sí. Dígame. Sorry. And he's probably say red hair. He's probably, or oh, really, he's a red hair guy. Okay. Cabello rojo. Bien. Y tengamos al grupo uno. Carlos, describe Alberto. Your microphone, please. Alberto, he has short black hair. Short black hair. Okay, very easy. It's more or less curly. It's not curly for me. It's not that curly. Very good. Alberto, describe Carlos. Carlos is... Uh, he had short... Uh, black hair and he had 
¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se decía, Clas? Mustache. Mustache. Style look. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y saben que igual, ese tipo de barba también podemos traducirlo en inglés. ¿Cómo le llamamos candado, en español? ¿cómo Ajá. ¿Cómo es en inglés, candado? Look. Look. It can be like that. Look. But don't worry, ese es como extra vocabulario. Mañana lo vamos a presentar. Ahorita solo la introducción. Remember, we have four classes to learn how to describe appearance, you know? But do not forget to practice. Tomorrow, we are going to continue with the other categories. Age and height as well, okay? So thank you so much for coming today and participating and practicing. Do not forget to practice this vocabulary, okay? Let's stop the class here and see you next class, okay? See you tomorrow class. Have a great see afternoon. You. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.